guys, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration using the steps I provided you for creating your first soft talk lesson. Um, and the topic that I'm going to choose is how to plan the perfect vacation because that's something that's near and dear to my heart right now because I'm in um, great need of a good vacation. Um, you can choose whatever topic you want. Um, so let's get to it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, I have soft talk open and I'm just going to go ahead before I do anything and save my soft talk. So file, save as. And you need to be sure you save it somewhere where you're going to remember, um, that way you can find it later. Um, so I'm saving it to the EdTech 553 folder and I'm going to name it Baker, last name, underscore SC, underscore experiment. Okay, and I'm going to hit save. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is set up my headings and subheadings. Um, so I've kind of already thought about what I, um, what I want my soft talk to look like. So I'm just going to type in my headings. Oops. I've got an introduction. What is a vacation? Um, determine your budget and And I've got just a few other, um, I've already typed this up in a Word document, so I'm just going to paste those headings. So these are all of my headings, and to turn them into headings, I'm going to highlight them and turn them from plain text into headings. And remember from last week when I told you that headings are what um, sort of breaks up your soft talk into sections later, so that's why headings are important. All right, so... Um, now, if I have any subheadings, I could add those in. Um, so, for example, um, actually, let's do. Forgot to determine logistics. That's actually going to be a heading one, and then I want to do a subheading under that. So. So these are all subheadings of determining the logistics. So I'm just going to highlight those and do heading two, and that makes those subheadings. You'll notice they're smaller. Okay, so that's my headings and subheadings. Um, next, I'm going to set up the style properties. So. In order to do that, I'm going to click on Properties up here and Style Properties. You'll notice I have the Styles tab and the Layout tab, or the Title and Layout tab. So I want to choose my style first, so I can just choose from any of the um, pre-formatted styles here, and I want to see if I can find one that's somewhat vacation-like in nature. Hmm. Not really seeing anything that just blows me away, but I'll go ahead and choose this blue one because it reminds me of water. And that is definitely where <laughs> where I want to be on the beach. Alright, so I've chosen my um, my style and now I want to give it a title and a layout. So my title is gonna be um, Planning the perfect vacation, subtitle, what you need to know. You don't have to have a subtitle, but um, I like to have one. Um, you can choose options here for footers. I, I usually don't do that. Um, it automatically uh, populates this, and you can, you can change it to have your name here. Here's where you set up your sidebar layout, and we'll talk a little bit about this um, later, but you can go ahead and select um, what you, um, you want to do uh, here. And like I said, you can change it later. So I'm just going to leave that alone and say OK. All right, so now we need text in between each heading, right? So um, I've kind of already typed up a little bit of text to add here.
your introduction um, should always kind of direct your learners as to what they're going to see in the lesson. Okay, underneath my next section, I want to provide the definition of a vacation. I'm just going to paste that there. Um, let's see, determining budget and destination. Just kind of put our text in. So you can see, you can just kind of play with your text here. Um, it's really easy to copy and paste text in or type it in if you like. Um, so again, just typing in my content. Got a few more logistical things to go under here. And finally under here. And I'm gonna add a picture under the next section. So that is the content um, in between um, the headings. All right. The next step says add page breaks between each section. So what I'm gonna do is put my cursor before an, um, the next section starts. And on my keyboard, I can either hit Control Enter, which is gonna enter, um, automatically put a page break, or I can say insert page break. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oops. between each section. And that's gonna create um, the different pages for my lesson. Okay, um, now that I've got this, I definitely wanna save. Um, in fact, I probably should have saved um, even earlier, just in case your computer crashes, you don't wanna lose what you've, um, what you've typed. Now it says add at least three images to your soft chalk. So I'm gonna add an image here using this image button and I'll browse and find an image on my computer. I believe I've saved one as vacation and select. Say okay. It's a little large so I'm gonna just pull it down a little bit. Um, let's see, so you're gonna do three of these um, image um, images and a good place to find images just really quickly is on Microsoft.com. You can click on um, Office Clip Art and search for images. Then you can sort over here by type. So say I want a photo. Um, I can find a good picture of a vacation and I can save the image straight to wherever. I kind of like to save to my desktop and then figure things out later. Um, but you may have a folder structure set up that you like to use. So again, I can just insert an image that I've pulled down from the internet. Um, there it is. I'll go ahead and give this one a border. Say okay. Actually, I don't want to give it a border. So I'm going to modify, right click the image, modify it, and take the border off because that doesn't look really good. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do an image here. I'll just find one on Microsoft Clip Art called Suitcase. Okay. 
save it. And these images are free to use, so they're um, you don't have to worry about copyright or anything like that. So we'll enter that image as well. Sometimes you need to resize your image before you insert it. Um, and you can do that with the Microsoft Picture Editor. Oh, what did I say that one is? There it was. I forgot to give it a name, but here it is. So there's my three images. All right, next it says to embed a YouTube video. So I'm going to go out to YouTube and see if I can find something to use. Let's see if it'll let me share these videos. Here we go. So I'm going to share. And again, when I hit share, I'm going to click on embed and find the embed code and right click and copy it and go back to my soft chalk. Um, let's see. I'm going to put that under the enjoy section. So I'm going to insert a widget and paste my HTML code here. All I did was click on paste HTML and, and say OK. And I'm going to save now that I've done all this work. OK, I need to turn this video off or I'm going to get jealous. All right. Next, it says insert at least three interactive activities or quiz poppers to your soft chalk. And I've provided you with refreshers on how to do that, but I'll go ahead and add something in um, really quickly. So I'm going to insert an activity, and I'll just do, um, I don't know, let's do a flashcard. And so I'm going to create a new flashcard, and um, the name of this activity will be um, don't forget your pets. So we'll put Penny, and she is the older Yorkie. Um, and I'll just describe her and say, okay. Um, I'll do another card and we'll call it Willow. And finally, um, we'll let's just say all right. So I've got three flashcards there. You can create up to um, I think up to like twenty flashcards. Um, and you have some options um, that you can, you know, play with here. But it's pretty simple to set up a flashcard activity. So I'm going to say OK. And it um, puts the activity where it, um, the um, student looking at this lesson is going to have to click on it to get to it. I usually like to embed it, so I'm just going to modify it and click on Options. And I would like to display in line so that it automatically shows up. So there's my placeholder for my activity. I'm going to save it. All right, now it says save, and so once I'm saved, I can preview um, the soft chalk in my browser. So I'm just going to go ahead and click preview, and you'll see here um, I have my soft chalk. So it has my title that I set up, it has my theme applied, and you'll see it has my page break. So it created seven different pages, and here are my um, here are my titles. So I can click on next to get to the next pages. Uh, of the lesson. Here is my soft chalk um, activity and I forgot to give it a title um, but you can see it shows the term and then you can um, see the definition. Um, under those options I could change it to where it shows the definition and then it has to show the term. So let's go back now that I see something I want to change. Let's go back to the soft chalk 
and fix that. So I'm going to modify this and I want it to show the definition first and say OK. And I also want it to give it a name. So I'm just going to give it a name and I'll make that a heading 2 and save that. Um, the other thing I, I suggested that you look at was to practice changing the style and layout option so you can see the differences in that. So remember our preview, um, if we go back to the first page, um, depending on whether or not you have subheadings, it creates an on this page menu, you have this menu at the top, you have um, previous and next, and you also have a table of contents. That's kind of a lot of different ways to navigate. So say I want to turn some of that off. I'm going to go back to Soft Talk, click on Properties, Style Properties, and on the Layout tab, I'm just going to choose to take that drop down menu at the top of the page off. Um, and um, I'm going to go ahead and leave everything else. So that'll be a little uh, less confusing in terms of navigation. So I'm going to save those changes. But practice changing the different navigation um, elements and going back and previewing um, the different. So now, if we preview, you'll see I don't have that drop down table of contents anymore. It's just sequential. So they, they just click on next or previous to get to the next sections. All right. So now that, um, let's see, it says add any other elements or edits to make your soft talk lesson better. So be sure you preview every page, um, check your links, check your activities, make sure they work, make sure your images look good. Um, so go through, make sure your video shows up and you can play it. Um, and, um, and then go back to your soft talk and make changes here and practice saving and previewing to toggle back and forth. All right, so now that we are done, I'm going to um, again save the soft talk and I'm going to close it once it's saved. Okay, so I just X out to close it. And it says browse to find the place that I saved it. So I'm just going to click um, either here and go to my documents or my computer. Um, in this case, I know that I saved it to an EdTech 553 folder. So I myself know how to get there. Um, kind of a lot of steps. But um, hopefully you've saved it in a, in a location where you can easily find it. So remember I saved it to the EdTech 553 folder and I saved it as Baker underscore SC underscore experiment. And so what I want you to do is to right click on this folder and zip it up. So you're gonna right click and click on send to compress zip folder. On a Mac, um, this might be a little bit different and you might need to Google um, instructions for zipping up folders, but on a PC, this is typically the way you do it. So you right click the folder, send to compress zip folder. Okay, it's automatically gonna create that zip folder in the same location as your um, your regular folder. I um, mean, let me just take a minute to show you the contents of what a soft talk creates when um, when you save it. Basically, it's saving it's creating a website. Um, so you'll notice that you have an index page. This is the and if I click on it, you're going to see a preview of exactly what's in my soft talk. Um, let me get back here it creates all of the elements related to the pages of your soft chalk. These are all HTML pages. All of the images are there. Um, all of the related video links are sort of wrapped um, or contained in this folder. So basically what soft chalk does is create a website. So I show you that just so that you'll you'll know um, and you'll start to think about okay well how how do I get my students to see this soft chalk once I've created it. And in this case, you're going to um, zip, zip the folder up and you're going to email me this um, zipped folder. Um, and I'm going to publish it for you out on the web. But um, there are other ways to get it into Blackboard. And I'll show you that sort of a little later on in the semester. I don't want to overwhelm you with too much um, and really just want you to focus on creating your soft talk now. So um, in this case, I've zipped my folder up. I see the zipped file because it has a little zip here. And I'm going to go to our Blackboard course, and I'm going to go to the Mail tool and create a message. And 
select myself or you'll select me um, go ahead and let me know who who it's coming from And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a file under the attachment icon and again I'm going to browse to where I saved that folder, that um, softchalk zip folder. And it's not going to be this open folder, don't try to select that. You're going to want to find the zipped folder and say open. And then you're going to submit. A few things to note about zipping that folder up, when you zip it, it compresses the file size, but you are limited in Blackboard, I believe, to 100 megabyte files. Um, so it may be your images that you're inserting that are making your file huge if you're not able to send it to me. So you may need to compress your images by making them smaller or using Microsoft Picture Manager to compress them for a web format. So that's how you create a soft chalk and how you're going to submit it to me. And I'm going to publish these for um, your classmates to view. Um, so hopefully you're going to have a, a good experience. Again, this is low stakes. I want you to create something um, that you enjoy talking about, that you would enjoy um, you know, showing to, uh, to fellow students. Or if you want, you can um, go ahead and, and create the foundation for what you're actually going to use in your course project later. Um, I'm, I'm cool with that too if you want to kind of start that process. Um, so let me know if you have any questions when you are creating your soft talk and good luck.